It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ukraine. It's Slavuch Beer of Ukraine coming in at 5% ABV. I'm not very familiar, well I'm not familiar at all with the Ukraine language so I'm not even going to try and pronounce that at the bottom. If you're watching in Ukraine, I apologise for my ignorance. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. This stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store with the greatest selection of beer in the UK. American beer, German beer, Belgian beer, Ukrainian beer, great British beer, and yeah, if you want something, search beersofeurope.co.uk. They've generally got it. Okay, this is 5% ABV in a green bottle. I'm expecting, to be honest, a regular lager. It's pouring like a regular lager. And I expect, it's one of those things, again, beers of Europe. There may be people over here from the Ukraine who are working, they want to taste, taste something from their local, from their country that they can get in the UK, they want to taste a lager that they're familiar with and this is what they can get from beers of Europe. So, two fingers of white head, loads of carbonation, it's a straw coloured clear lager, it's not cloudy at all. Let's get the aroma on this beer then. And to be honest, with a green bottle beer, I immediately look for a skunking of the hops, but it's not present. Picking up a generic corn aroma of that lager it's it's a, a worldwide uh, lager just got brewed everywhere I've, I've had lagers that taste exactly the same as this from Kenya Spain Portugal Ukraine Poland America the UK it's a similar similar taste that people probably in the 1970s strived to get right. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow. This tastes, in all fairness to it, this tastes more like a pilsner. Yeah, fair play. It's sweet, corny, malty, a little bready very much like a lager and carbonated. You're gonna get that, as I said, from the world over. But what I like about this beer, what's impressing me about this beer, is I was just mentioning the fact that all these lagers taste the same and they're all generic. Fair play to this beer, it's hoppy. It's It tastes like it's got that German Hillsbrucker hop or maybe a bit of Saz hop in here. It certainly tastes quite like a German Pilsner. It's 30 degrees outside, this has been in the fridge, it's cold, and do you know what, it's hitting the spot, it's hitting the spot. Wasn't expecting it to, in all honesty, I, I'm an open reviewer, um, but I wasn't expecting much from this beer, but credit where credit is due, that's not bad when it comes to 
the lager style that we all know and loathe. That's not a bad lager. It's crisp, it's refreshing, it's very drinkable. I've just need, eaten a Chinese. This is helping. Beer is a great digestant, it really kind of helps digest food. I always kind of, when I eat food, I, I tend to be a bit of a pig with food. In all honesty, I overeat. Who doesn't overeat? Your kids leave some food on their plates, they don't want any more. Wife can't eat as much as you. You end up scoffing a lot, you end up cleaning plates. And there's probably people watching this video nodding their head saying, absolutely, I do exactly the same thing. I'm not afraid to say that. So I've just uh, finished my Chinese, a bit of the wife's as well. Pardon me, I'm quite fuller, but that burp, that timely burp, and another one. What it does, a beer like this, the carbonation, food sits in, in my stomach and it kind of, it leads, it's like a lead balloon. A carbonated beer gets down, carbonates and it moves things around and it releases some of that kind of trapped air and it gets things moving, it gets things digesting quicker. And this is, this is, a, a, it's just working for me. It's just working really well. So back to the beer, enough about beer and digestants but I like to talk about different aspects of beer there's not an awful lot I could talk about with this beer it's slightly hoppy it's malty it's refreshing it's drinkable it's five percent I could drink six of them that's about as much as I could possibly say about this beer so I kind of then turn to ah, what, what, what's on the subject of today what have I just been doing so then yeah I talk about the digestive factor of this beer and it works quite well so um sorry for the uh, well, I shouldn't say sorry, really. I suppose it's just a different angle to my review. I'm kind of getting you guys to kind of nod your head and agree with me. Um, but, yeah, yeah, let's rate it. Slivich, beer of Ukraine. I'm going to give that... In lager terms, I've had a lot worse lagers than this. And a terrible one from from Korea. Oof, it was awful. Um, I'm going to give that a six out of ten. It's, it, it's drinkable. It's fine. Um, I was in I was in Poland last month, next to Ukraine. Um, so you guys in Poland might be watching this review and and saying I can get this beer in my country. Not that I yeah. yeah. Um, Six out of ten. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.